Okay, so I'm over here at a, at a house, and what we're trying to do here is find out which frequency the smart meter, um, water smart meter, is putting out. And right now we have a Safe and Sound Pro, uh, and it's spiked at 135,000 microwatts per square meter. And we also have a Spectrum and antenna, which is going to be traced back to the actual uh, Spectrum view, which I'm coming back over here in the shade so we can see the view a little better. So we have an antenna. Uh, wire here and so Bill tell me a little bit what's going on here all right so the gas meter is transmitting constantly and so I just captured um, some really peak signals here and that's 912 914 those are the two high ones right here yeah. here in the part of the scale and they're registering minus 20 29.81 dBm which is very strong yeah, okay. it sounded even like a smart meter spike. So is that called it called a sawtooth wave? No, 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 no. It's just a spike. It's a spike. Our spike. So, and then we do get some reflection from the cell tower and from the gas meter, and you know, uh, but so nine twelve, nine nine twelve, nine fourteen, eight sixty six is the cell tower. 434 is the gas meter over there. I mean, there's gas meter on the other wall. Everything's bouncing around a little bit. So you see these other ones, they're, they're relatively low. They start at 69 dBm and go down to 72, 74 dBm. So those are, anything 70 dBm down would be not that much of a hazard. So, so the the 868, where'd it go? Where, right there. Is that a 5G new? new? No. No, no that's, that's the cell tower. Cell tower. Yeah, that's probably the AT&T 5GE, whatever it's called. Okay, so these numbers tell me which frequency it is down yeah, here? Yeah, right here. This yeah. correlates it's, with yeah, this, that so number the numbers. Is the, it gives you the frequency and the amplitude of the frequency. And so... So this is an SSA. SSA. 3032X, so it goes from 9 kilohertz up to 3.3 gigahertz. Yeah, what's something like that, what's that, like, something like that cost? Mm, depends on where you buy it, but about twenty five hundred bucks approximately. Okay. By the time you get all the accessories and the cables and all that stuff, so the list price in the, in the catalog is not a full what you're going to pay to get this thing working. So it, it cables and connectors, and you can see I got all kinds of cables here. This tells you the power density and the spectrum and the, and the frequency, which yes. is important because you're just guessing, right? Otherwise, you're guessing. Okay. Well, you know, you can, you can get an RF meter and they'll tell you all kinds of numbers and you won't know what frequency is driving that number. But there's no question about it that the gas meter is different than the water meter. The water meter is transmitting in the 900 megahertz range and it's a very strong signal. Okay, another great day. It's much stronger day. than the gas meter. All right, thanks, thanks, Bill. Thank you so much. All right. All right, bye.